Hello, this is George Senda, the real, official, authentic, original, the official, the one, the only, the guy from Pittsburgh, which is my handle, my nom de plume, my character name. I am George Senda. My channel name is George Senda. For those who don't know, to avoid any confusion, which there shouldn't be. I've been on this channel for 12 years. My videos appear on the Coast to Coast AM Radio website, hosted by George Norrie. And I did a pilot with George Norrie called We Aren't Going to Take It. That's on Amazon Prime. And my video is on there as George Senda, the guy from Pittsburgh. 1,000, 1, 200,000 views by over 5,000 videos. My middle name is George Send. I hate my first name. I've never liked it. I've been called George since I was 14. Now we're done with that. This is about my trying to do laundry last night. I couldn't do laundry because I have to take stuff down the shopping cart. I go to the elevator. I had just used the laundry 45 minutes before to go downstairs. The washer upstairs is still out of order. They have a sign on it, uh, issued parts, waiting for parts. That's been now almost a month, which is ridiculous. They could bring another washer in. So, went, and then the other washer was out last weekend because the coin slot jammed. So I go down to the laundry, and the elevator is not it. You push the button, nothing happens. I go, what the hell? I bang on the door thinking somebody is blocking the door, but at midnight? So I go downstairs to look at the elevator, nothing. Door's closed. I go upstairs, nothing. But can't not move. While the door is closed, it should move. It shouldn't be breaking down in the middle of the night. It has, we've had power failures, the elevator shuts down, which is really dumb. And we have uh, three people on this building that ride electric scooters. One has no hip. One uses her scooter. She has dialysis to go there every day. They pick her up, kind of connection to the van. And there's another one using a scooter, and I hope eventually I will get a scooter. I'm going to the doctor today to get approved for a scooter. Hold on. Hello, I'm up, but I'm doing I'm doing a live video, so don't record you. I'll talk to you later. Bye. So anyway, um, so I pushed the button again. I go downstairs and push the button. The door opens. There's a guy about 50 years old with a beard. There's a bicycle in the elevator. There's a young blonde girl in an elevator, a backpack, and a sleeping bag. And they're sleeping in our elevator. I said, you have to get out. This is not a homeless shelter. We're trying to get out of the cold. I said, sir. One, I was homeless myself twice. I lived in my car for six months. I got bronchitis and pneumonia. But one thing I didn't do is sleep in other people's buildings and other people's elevators. You can't sleep in the elevator. And it's 40 degrees. It's not that cold. There was no wind last night at all. So it wasn't that cold. We have homeless people here show up. They sleep in the benches downstairs. They've slept in the laundry room. They've shot up drugs. So this is why I couldn't do my laundry. They, they left, but he, he they took about five minutes to leave the elevator because he kept to argue with me. This is not a place for you to sleep. People in this building that are handicapped and others need to use the elevator, even at midnight. So, they left. I've seen this guy and this girl before, and I called the police about it. I told the guy, if you come, I see you here again, I'm going to call the cops. And the cops didn't come by, but uh, this is a problem with this building lately where the homeless think this is a place for them to sleep. And uh, this isn't the place. This is, And it's big sign on the wall when you come up the walkway, up the sidewalk, to where the post box, where the mailboxes are. No trespassing. <clears throat> this is not a public building. This is a county-owned building. And... Uh, 
you know, if in a perfect world, if the if the police would cite these people not in state court but in federal court, since this building gets federal funds, they go to federal court, and they wouldn't be spending time in the county jail. They'd be spending time in a federal federal facility because this place gets federal funds. But it really aggravates me. And housing told me and other people in the building, if you see the homeless here and they're sleeping, they're sleeping in the laundry room, they're sleeping in the hallways, they're sleeping in the elevator, just uh, call the police. We had a guy, the police came, and they told me that guy, he had a backpack and a fanny pack, and what he was trying to do or what he was doing was breaking into other people's apartments by climbing up to the fourth floor and going over the gate. There's a gate blocking access to the roof. And then somehow, I wouldn't be able to do it even when I was 25, he would manage to hang from the roof. I guess he meant to have equipment in his backpack. And if the people weren't home, he would rappel down the side of the building and open up the back window and climb into the window and steal stuff out of the apartment and go out the front door. So they caught the guy. But this is the kind of craziness we're having. All right, I got to put this laundry away. I've been up since 5.30 a.m. I did a live video a few minutes ago. One troll uh, kept arguing me and one troll had a handle that was a, a deliberately uh, offensive handle. So I blocked both those guys. The wonderful Soul Sister came in. Always happy to see Soul Sister. And she got to see her mans, which are these little wooden Star Trek figurines. And when I get the um, area here clean with the help of Patty, when she comes by next month, I'll find the other one. So, uh, I did three loads of laundry, including Kathy's. Tomorrow I'll go and bring Kathy her laundry. There's a um, lighted Christmas tree, artificial, that someone left. I'll give that to her. Her former apartment manager made, get her, made her get rid of her artificial Christmas tree. I thought that was nuts. She's no longer there. They got rid of her. They fired her. So, um, but Kathy had been very sick, and she can't get in the laundry room because she doesn't have a key. And then it needs an app. She can't use quarters. So here's the remainder of the quarters. And I've cleared a path down the hallway to where I could walk now. But some of the laundry, the uh, my mother used to crochet blankets, and they're too big for the washers here. So what I'm going to have to do is take a shopping cart, go to the laundromat, drop the shopping cart for a safe way, with, bring my folding cart, and either take it back home on the bus or have Lyft pick me up. I'll do that next month. So I should have all this laundry done finally and put away by next month. I haven't had the money or I've been too ill or injured and had COVID. So that's why it's all piled up in the hallway. So don't give me any grief about it. I got more to put away here, but I, I've been up since 5.30 a.m. I'm not awake. I'm not a morning animal. But I have to go to the doctor. And, oh, that gets me my eyes blur. <laughs> And I'm waiting for a package to come today. So they ordered for me. So hopefully it will come. Although lately Amazon has said it will be here today. And then it's not here till tomorrow. Because they're using the post office instead of Amazon. Amazon comes on time. Post office not. And that is. I have Fluffy and Little Girl in the bed. My babies. So, and their antibiotics are coming too. So um, they'll get better. Uh, okay, this is George Send, and I modified my bill pay, so I have a little more money. So the iPhone and the iPad will be repaired next month, and I don't have to sit here in the apartment and freeze. I can go somewhere else and freeze. <laughs> no, I can go <clears throat> indoors or thing. But the problem with going indoors, everybody I go, everywhere I go, not everybody, is everybody plays music, and then I can't do my video because they, I can't edit out the copyrighted music. And um, I, I, there was a program I used to use, I can't remember the name of it, where you could edit out music, but then it edited out my audio, and I don't know how to fix that. That's one reason I wish someone would tell me to do it, and people used to say, why don't you know how to do that? Because I don't know how to do it. You're going to come over and help me? No. Well, then don't mention it. So, um, Audacity, I think that was what it was called. I used to use my other computer, but I put, by the end of the year, I'll have all my bills paid. Then I'll start repairing the computers. I'll take one Mac and stick it here 
So I have a monitor in front of me, and uh, so I can see the screen easier. All right, sorry this is being so long, but I'm very sleepy and really don't want to go to the doctor, but I have to because she's going to get my electric wheelchair approved, and we're going to talk about uh, all the health issues I have and then see if I've lost weight or not. I hope so. If not, I've got to go on a crash program and lose 30 pounds. When I have my knee surgery, you'll see lots of videos of me because I won't be able to go anywhere. I'll be, I'll have my knee replacement surgery and I'll be stuck at home for four months. So I'm not sure what that entails. And I still have to get my colonoscopy done this year. That's a priority item. I put it off because of the pandemic stopped it for one thing, but I have to do that too. And I have to have Kathy or Patty go with me because they won't let me go by myself. You have um, anesthetic. You might not be able to function. I, I walked, I went home when I broke my left leg in eight places in my toes when I was 14. I, they gave me anesthetics. I was fine. I'm a tough old bird. All right, this is George Senda, 45 degrees now, but this weekend it's going to get down to 32. I looked at my weather app. It's getting pretty bad when it's as cold as uh, 32 here, and it's 32, 5 in Pittsburgh, PA, where I came from. That's why I'm the guy from Pittsburgh. I was born there and raised there. Have a great day. Stay warm. Stay safe. I hope you're not in the Houston area. They got hit with three cities, got hit with tornadoes there, three towns, and one amazing video on Live Storms Media, they, uh, a freight train got knocked over by a tornado. I have never seen that before. That was um, incredible. Have a great day. Stay warm. Stay safe. I'll catch you next time. This is George Senda, the real, the guy from Pittsburgh. Bye-bye for now.